In this short video, I'm gonna show you how you can make rolling credits inside Premiere Pro. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro and to get started, I recommend changing your workspace from editing to captions and graphics. This should display the properties panel. If you don't see the properties panel, you can always go up to window properties. Once you have your workspace set, you can grab your type tool and click out inside the program monitor once. This will create a new text layer. Now what I recommend doing for credits is to list all your credits out in a Word document or a text file in some type of platform here. Right here I have Microsoft Word open and I typed out all my credits. So what I'm gonna do is just hit Command A, Command C to copy them, copy your credits, or if you're doing it manually back inside Premiere Pro, you can start typing out your credits. Once you have your credits typed out or pasted in here, you can grab your selection tool and then refine the text formatting. For example, you can change the font. If you want to change the font, you can change how the text is aligned. For this example, I'm going to center align my text. I'm also going to go down to under align and transform and just align this to the center here. The other thing to keep in mind when working with text graphics is to make sure that it's within your safe margins. So I recommend turning on your safe margins by clicking on this button at the bottom of the program monitor. You can click on this here and you should see the safe margins appear. Make sure all your text is within the center rectangle. Now, if you don't see the option to turn on your safe margins, you can always go to your plus button here and click and drag down the safe margins into your toolbar. So once you have your text formatted correctly, the last step is to animate it. With the text layer selected here, inside the properties panel, underneath response design dash time, you should see a roll option. When you click on it, this will enable the roll animation for your text inside Premiere Pro. And if we just click play, you can see that it rolls through all of our credits here. Now, as you can see, it's quite quick. And if you want to slow down or change the timing of your credits, you can easily just click and drag the edge of your text graphic to extend the duration. As you you can see it's going a little slower and just extend this out even more and keep going until you get a speed that you like. Now, if we go back to the beginning here, you have a few other options here that you can select. You can choose to start off screen and to end off screen. If these aren't selected, the text will just appear on screen to how you formatted it originally. But with it selected, it'll start off screen. You also have pre-roll and post-roll options. So if you want to delay the animation of your rolling credits, you can add some pre-roll. So for example, if we change this up to 10 seconds, you'll notice that when we play this back, it'll hold for 10 seconds before it starts animating on screen. We skip forward to around 10 seconds, only then will it start animating on screen. You can also add some ease in or ease out to this animation. For example, maybe we boost this up to five seconds. If we do that and we play this back, you'll notice that we added an ease in for our rolling credits. So it eases in, so it starts slower, and then it speeds up as it animates up. And that's how you can create rolling credits inside Premiere Pro. Now, if you wanna learn more about Premiere Pro, there's several tutorials on my channel. I will leave one that you might like linked right up there. Feel free to go check that one out. But that does it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.